Welcome back to Dar Fighter's fucking stream. Because this is where it's going to fucking be from now on. Sick of being plain like, oh yeah, poor hard dumb boy, yeah, yeah, yeah. She gave me fanny, she sucked my cock, she pulled spunk out of her fanny and then I looked after her kids and all that. Fuck you, man, you know what? I'm going to rise from the ashes and I'm going to do fucking better than what you fucking ever did to me. You pulled me in when I was fucking vulnerable, promised me the fucking world and shit on me. You pulled me out of the fucking pandemic, you should be ashamed of yourself. And every cunt I fucking know fucking hates you. Dirty slag. Have it. And it's not because of the drink. It's the truth. Sick of it, being nice and staying quiet while you're texting other fucking men and talking about your fucking gash. And fucking all that anyway. You need to shave it. And your upper lip. Pissed off of it. Because the bloke she's with, well, what she told me, this is what I'm going on. I don't know for real. She always said to me, oh, if, he, if you met him, he'd tell you different. But apparently he's a drug, he's a fucking robber, he's a rapist, and he's a fucking serial woman beater. But that's what she says. You know, sob stories to get a bit of fucking cock and get someone in there. Oh, I love you and all that crap, mate. Piece of shit. Piece of absolute shit. And you know what, Leah? Well, I did fall for you, I did like you, I did love you a bit. But you ain't a mark on fucking shell. Never. Never, mate. She would have battered you. But she's moved on. She would have battered you, mate. She would have fucking made you nothing, mate. And she had bigger tits as well. That was all good. But. <laughs> so let's go. Did, yeah? She ain't give fuck more two fucks, mate. She's online all the time saying she's at work and all that. She's lined her next fucking bloke up. I'm a cunt. I'm a dickhead, man. And I was. And I was like put in place to be this baby daddy and all that, you know what I mean? I'm going to expose that fucking bitch, man. I will expose her. And she can go, go at me with the police and go at me with fucking slander and all that shit. I will expose her if she's going to fucking keep doing this to me. For what she fucking is. You know, so you guys don't bomb into her online and fucking end up giving her a shaft. It's... Hang on a minute, I've got to answer a message. Sim, ah. Uh... There you go. I just told someone to fuck off. You know I told to fuck off, don't you? Yeah, Leanne. If you didn't get that message, get fucked. You slag. This is prim and proper, but likes loads of different cops off dating sites. Uh, it's just, oh, I've got to relive all this shit. I've got a headache, I've got to work. Get fucked. No, I try and be a civil to her, mate. But, Sean's got another cock lined up. I got out manipulated, that's what it was. Yeah. You know what, all I need is to get on the straight, and f well not on the straight, and I'm never going to be straight now, just to get a fucking pad and get some kind of structure mate, that's what I need to do, and then find a fucking bird eventually that's going to fucking love me for me, faults and all, not just all the good shit, she just wants all the good shit, 
Oh, I like the pool that came back, the nice pool. Mm, I want him. Well, you could have had him if you'd have fucking compromised. Lesson learned, don't meet a bird on a fucking dating site that gets about 25 dick pics a fucking day. What it was, it was to restrict me, but I think secretly, mate, she's probably texting up fucking dudes. Just didn't want me doing it, which I wasn't doing. I think that's what it was. Oh, I loved her fanny, mate. That was it. Simple. Do you know what I found on her phone? Well, I see her watching. Well, I'm not even going to repeat it. Yeah, she didn't go fuck about me when she kicked me out to fucking the dogs. She didn't go fuck up anyone. And she got little Stella in her ear going, oh, Paul's an arsehole. Like, Where are you, Stella? You fucking two-faced cunt. You know what I mean? When you're fucking guy in the fucking room, Ugh, you can't speak. But when Final Fantasy comes out, you will speak to everyone. Fucking dickhead. You know what I mean? You know, the guy went through fucking alcoholism and you're fucking, like, going at me. You fucking two bit fucking. You can't. You know what I mean? You you, 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 you supported him, but you're gonna go at me. You know what I mean? You, you're sitting there going, uh, you ain't fucking sent me a message saying how I am. I knew you before I knew that fucking bitch. And you got a guy in there, oh, he can't come out of his room or contact him. As soon as Final Fantasy comes out, he's like, hey! You know what I mean? I mean, you know full well what you went through. You don't contact me and ask me how I fucking am. But you're in there with that fucking nut job. Bit fucking... Yeah, you know I mean, I'm not fucking dumb. I'm not fucking dumb. Far from it. But I know what's being played here. You sit there and fucking lurk and don't say fuck all. You don't even ask who I am. I mean, I can understand you taking her side and shit, but you don't even ask who I fucking am. You, don't, you know what I mean? You met me before, huh? If it weren't for me, you wouldn't have met, that, met her. And now you don't even want to fucking say who I am. You know what I mean? Fake us fucking bitches. You are. And I'll send my piece now, kick quiet for a long while, but I'm gonna send my fucking piece. Fake ass fucking bitches. Trust any of you. I don't trust any of you. You're sitting here lurking and commenting and going, oh, you're yeah, entertaining and all that shit. You don't fucking do nothing. You don't contact me, you don't ask how I am. You just fucking berate me, don't you? Fucking arseholes. Arseholes, mate. He's a fucking arsehole as well. Mmm, we can't come out the room. Comes out for a bit of tit and a bit of fanny, doesn't he? A bit of Final Fantasy. If that's the life you want to live, go and fucking have it. Because I ain't fucking having it. Never mind a boy come in in the morning and ask us to get up and do his breakfast. I didn't do it. Yeah, and I think what probably put the nut final nail in the coffin because the night we had that argument, I said, I don't think I love you. And I didn't mean it, but I mean, I don't love you the way you are. And then I, and then I went, I'm not even attracted to you. That was a big oops. I said, I'm not even attracted to you. That was a big oops. I, I'm gonna be totally honest here. I said some fucking probably awful things in an argument. I probably did, and I know I did. But other than that, I did fuck all, mate. That, that warranted the argument. Because I got frustrated and I just thought, well, fucking, you know, you're boring. You're, you're being an old bore. You're just trying to control me. I'm not having it. But she said she'd help me and 
She has fucking abandoned me, mate. She abandoned me. You know what? I wanted to damage what she loved most, her fucking motor. And I can still, you know, there's still damage I can do anyway. I've only got to say a few fucking words on here. I don't care if the old bill come knocking. What are you going to fucking do? You shouldn't have told a stranger that on, on a dating site all your fucking details if you want to be that private. But we ain't going there yet. We ain't going there yet. But, I'm, you know, I'm at the point where I don't give a fuck anyway. Motherfuckers. I'm gonna tell you something straight off the motherfucking press.